It's one thing to carve the date in stone when you're beautifying a town in rural Indiana, but it's another thing if the footer of your Joomla website still says 2015. Well, this is a problem we can easily solve. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a fantastic plugin from Regular Labs called Sorcerer. Sorcerer allows you to place any code in Joomla that includes PHP, CSS, and HTML. I've used this consistently for the last 10 years, and it is a terrific plugin. There's a free version and a pro version, the pro version allows you to do just a couple more things, including the ability to include other files and select your include method. Now, that alone is worth the pro version, but it also gives you some advanced security settings that are really worth it. Now, I'm just going to show you how to quickly and simply fix the footer of your Joomla website. For years, all we did was just type this in and then on January the 1st, go in and update the date. Well, how silly is that? When Sorcerer can do it once and you'll never need to touch it again. For the purposes of this video, I've already downloaded and installed Sorcerer. I'm going to head over to my copyright notice module, which right now again is simply just text. If you scroll down underneath your text editing area, you'll see a code button, click code, and I can insert code, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and tag settings. I'm using the pro version. I'll click on PHP. It allows me to include a file, as I mentioned, but all I really want to do is change the date. So it's quite simple in PHP to do that. In fact, Sorcerer will even add the PHP open and closing statements for me. So all I have to do is do echo date, and that's it. I'm going to insert that, and you'll see that the plugin inserts a curly bracket source, the code, and then a close curly bracket. So I just need to put the word copyright before that. Get rid of 2015 because obviously it's not 2015. Save and close. Hit refresh. And now the date on my site is correct. You can use Sorcerer in any article or module in Joomla. And not just for PHP, but for advanced CSS, HTML, pretty much any code you want without fear of having your WYSIWYG editor strip it out or ruin it. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining me today for this OS Tips. My name is Rod Martin. Would you please subscribe? And we'll see you in the next episode.